Assalamualaikum. My name is Sara, and I'm telling you about the human nervous system, human organ systems. In this chapter, we will discuss about nervous system, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, reflex sections, and all the extremity organs. First of all, we will discuss about the nervous system. To discuss this, first of all, we should know about the different definitions or the terms. That is coordination. <coughs> Coordinations. When all organs of the body that are working organized and in control way. When all the organs of the body are work in organized and control way. I am giving you the example of this. How all organs of body that work in organized way. First of all, the example is breathing. When you are playing game or when you walk upstairs, you will see that your muscles become active. When muscles will be active, more carbon dioxide is produced. Rate of the breathing will be increased. Mean you inhale and exhale, inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is removed from the muscle cells. It means that for breathing activities, lungs, heart, blood vessels, and the rib muscles are involved. The word that we in the definition we will discuss all organs of the body work in organized and in controlled way. All organs. It means that lungs, heart, blood vessels, rib muscles are involved. These are the all organs which are work. All these organs work, then the breathing process will be occurred. Stimuli. Things that change the activity. The thing that change activity is that example. I am giving the example light, heat, and pressure. When light or heat pressure act on anything, that it will change their activity. Response: When you receive or reaction to that stimuli, the the stimuli that you will receive, you are reacting on that is called response. Now the third term, fourth term is sensitivity. Sensitivity means ability to respond to a stimulus is called. Sensitivity or irritability. These are the, this is the definition. All the four definitions which I am telling you. Response mean what is the meaning of response? Response mean that it show the movement. I am giving example that plant grow towards the light or you clean as the example that move towards the light. Next one is receptors. Receptors are all our body or all or our sense organs that is eye ear nose tongue skin these are all sense organs which really detect the stimuli it really detect our stimuli effectors effectors bring about response the stimuli that which we receive is when you act upon that that is called response muscles plus, plus glands what are the muscles when they receive the stimuli they will respond or muscles will respond by contract by your muscle will be contracting and the glands that speak are hormones or that is the effectors in this <coughs> topic we will discuss all the four things that is coordination again i am telling you what is coordination when all organs of body are working organized and controlled way all organs of the body is mean in breathing process lungs heart blood vessels all other organs are also involved in the coordination second one is stimuli that change activity that it is a stimuli that thing that will change our activity that is light and the heat and pressure or the stimuli response when you when you react onto the stimuli that is called response sensitivity Next one is sensitivity, ability to respond to a stimulus. That is response may be in the form of movement. That is plant may grow towards the light. You can now move towards the light. Receptors. Receptors are those that is ear, nose, tongue, skin, which these are the sense organs which detect the stimulus. Effectors. Bring about the response. Is called effectors. That is muscles. And examples are muscles and the glands. Muscles are responses by the contract. When our muscles contract when we receive any stimulus, glands are those which secrete the hormones. Next one is human nervous system. Human nervous system. Consist of central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system are brain and the spinal cord. Brain are usually in 
protected inside our skull and the spinal cord is usually protected by our backbone. When the brain and the spinal cord, these the meninges, what is meninges? Meninges is that layer, it is a layer which is made up of the connective tissues. Brain and the spinal cord are usually wrapped in three connective tissues that is called meninges. Now I am telling you about the brain. First of all, there are three, um, three parts of the brains, forebrain, midbrain and the hindbrain. Forebrain usually consists of cerebrum, thalamus and the hypothalamus. Hindbrain usually consists of cerebrum, cones and medulla. You should know about the names of the following parts of the forebrain so usually consist of cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus and the hindbrain usually consists of cerebrum, cones and the medulla. Now I am telling you about the cerebrum. It is the first of all it is the prominent regions. When the deep group divide, deep group will be occurred in the cerebrum, it will divide the cerebrum into the two cerebral hemisphere. It is the first first of all you should know about the first point that is it is a prominent region. Second one a deep groove. A groove will be occurred which divides the cerebrum into two cerebral hemisphere. The main function of the cerebrum is sensation, hearing, sight, smell, memory, intelligence. These are the function of the cerebrum. Next one is thalamus. Below the cerebrum, thalamus, where is thalamus is present? It is usually below the thalamus. It is located below cerebrum. What is the main function of thalamus? The main function of thalamus is to receive impulses from sensory areas and pass it into the cerebrum. The main function of the thalamus is that it receive what is it? It receive impulses from all our sensory organs and it will pass it, it into the cerebrum. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus it is usually in the ventral side of thalamus. It is located ventral from the ventral side of the thalamus is hypothalamus and the main function of the hypothalamus is it regulate temperature appetite, water balance, blood pressure and control heartbeat, thirst and hunger. These are the main function of thalamus and the hypothalamus.